Hello, hello, hello. Um, so I've been going to this Bible study every Tuesday morning at 7 with a bunch of older guys. Uh, I guess like 40s to 70s. I don't know. <laughs> they're, they're a lot older than me, right? And we've been studying Joshua. And so what we do is we go around, everyone reads a verse. And then after we finish the chapter, we go back and break it down verse by verse. So we're in Joshua chapter 3. And, okay, just some background or some behind-the-scenes knowledge. Joshua is from an ancient Hebrew word called Yahshua. Yeahshua or Yehoshua, something like that. Um, and that's where they get the name Jesus. So Jesus is Yeshua. So Yeshua comes from Yahshua. So the book Yahshua, Je- Joshua is literally the same name as Jesus. It's like the same, it's the same thing. It's like Nick is short for Nicholas, right? So just keep that in mind. I think this has so many like foreshadows of Jesus coming. So in chapter 3, verse 7, the Lord said to Joshua, Today I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, so that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. All right. As he was with Moses, he will be with Joshua, Joshua, or Jesus, right? Um, Moses would literally talk to to God. He would go up the mountain and talk to God. And that's kind of like Jesus was in heaven and I mean he is God, so it's similar, right? And then later he says, command your people, command the priests to carry the ark of the covenant and to walk into the Jordan River. So the ark of the covenant is where God's spirit resided. So that they would carry this around everywhere they went. So he tells these priests to carry this and go into the Jordan River. So the Jordan River was about a mile wide, like half a mile to a mile, uh, depending on the season. But at this point, it was in between half a mile and a mile wide with like a lot of water coming through. And they're, they, had, they needed faith to step out into this. So they stepped out and the river stopped. As soon as they walked in, it just got cut off, and then all the water started building up on the side. Right? So, Jesus was baptized in the Jordan River. It's pretty interesting. Anyway, so the reason why they they stepped in the water is because they had to cross it. They were going to go take over this town. Um, that's not really important right now. They're going to go take over this the city, but they needed to cross the Jordan River. So the priests led first, Joshua and the priests, and the Ark of the Covenant went first, and then the water stopped so that the rest of the tribe could go through. So the priests. Uh, in the New Testament, it calls all believers priests. So you could think of this like, so when we are filled with the Holy Spirit, we're priests, and we're, we're bearing the Ark of the Covenant, the, we're bearing God's Spirit, which lives in us, that we're making a pathway so that other people can come to Jesus. That other people can follow God, right? Um, the New Testament says that we are ambassadors for Christ. God makes his appeal through us, right? So what is an ambassador? Uh, it's somebody from a country, but in another country that kind of represents their country, So it's like us, as priests, as believers, as Christians, we're on this earth, but we're not of this world. We're we're from heaven, our home is heaven, but we're here, and we're just trying to shine a light to people and bring people to heaven, to their father, to their home. Um, So in Joshua, Joshua has the priests go into the water first bearing God's spirit. They're holding God's spirit. They go into the water first so that everyone else can follow. And in verse 12, it says, Now therefore take 12 men from the tribes of Israel from from each tribe of man. So there's 12, just like the 12 apostles. 
so this whole book, I haven't f- studied all of it in depth, but just from chapter three, there's a lot of foreshadowing. Um, there's a lot of prophecy. Um, so I definitely encourage you to look at this. I'll see you later.